what we've come up with is to make fleece scarves, which is something that fourth graders can generally do. In the process of doing that, we talk about uh, different elements of math and measurement, and we also talk about economics and marketing a product, and then we go on to make the scarves, which as you can see they're doing right now and we will donate the scarves to the Family Center for those um, children that they feel that they're in need. Recently, Woodside fourth graders combined learning with giving when they turned a class project into a community project benefiting the Family Center. In addition to using their math, writing, and marketing skills, they helped other kids who are victims of domestic or sexual abuse. We have to set up kind of like storefronts, and then we have to buy and sell scarves and then after we're done with that, we'll have to give the scarves away to the Family Center. The mission of the Family Center is pro to provide shelter and support services for all victims of domestic abuse or sexual assault. The scarves that we receive today, we will be giving out to kids in our safe shelter, and we'll also have them available for any kids that come in with their parents to receive outreach services. They'll also be able to take scarves home. Students share their creativity in their scarf designs. We're using beads, pins, and fleece for all the projects that we're doing. The whole fourth grade is doing it. You put the beads on and then you tie it. So it's, there's going to be many colorful scarves out there. I probably liked most that we got to actually make the scarves instead of using paper and that my mom came in to help me. Sometimes teachers have a great idea but don't have the funds. That's where Encourage School Plus grants come in. They encourage educators to design new programs, projects, and events that build trust and strengthen relationships in their school and community. If we had not gotten that, we wouldn't be able to do this project again this year, so we are very appreciative of that. Really easy to do, filled out just an application, and they got back to us very quick to let us know that the project was, was ready to go. and. Uh, sent a check and then we were off shopping. Through this scarf project, kids in our community benefit, whether they're the giver or receiver. A lot of times they come in with just the clothes on their back. And so the scarves that we got today are just a little something special to make the kids feel safe and at home. The idea that they'll be able to help somebody out that they don't know who it is, I think that's a good lesson for them also. It makes me feel good, like knowing that I'm not hogging the scarves. I have like 20 in my house.